The ongoing Starliner space saga. A look this morning at the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft on the launch pad in Cape Canaveral. Later today, the private space company is expected to launch a two-man crew to the International Space Station. And in a new twist, it'll also bring back the two astronauts who have been waiting for a ride home since June. Manuel Bajorquez is at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida to explain. Manny, good morning. Good morning to you. This is one of the most dramatic changes to a mission that NASA has made in years. Typically, the SpaceX Crew Dragon launches four passengers into space at a time. But this time around, it will only take two. NASA astronaut Nick Haig and a Russian cosmonaut. The two empty seats are needed to bring astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams back to Earth. They were part of the first crewed test flight of Boeing's well, Starliner uh, capsule, and though it successfully the got them to space to the space station back in June, it ran into problems that prompted NASA to look for another ride home for its crew. To get the Starliner astronauts home, NASA had to bump Two astronauts, Zena Cardman and Stephanie Wilson, from today's flight, despite more than a year of training. Liftoff is set for 1.17 this afternoon, but even if all goes as planned, Wilmore and Williams will have to spend another five months in space because this mission is not set to return back to Earth until next February. Thanks, Manny. We said earlier it was a, an Uber. <laughs> I think they'll be getting a five-star rating for that trip in five months, should all go well. I would hope so. Yeah. yeah. Space Uber? Awesome. Yeah, space Uber. Yeah. A nice. space Uber. Absolutely. All right.